Katarina Gwen. So this is gonna be extremely hard, but I'll see what I can do. I mean, just an early game portal. I can. I guess I'm only gonna lead away. Brom is just, mm, it's just fine. But it's gonna be a bit annoying if he gives him unblockable. Spirit and Unleash is pretty nice, but I need him to like spend a bunch of uh, mana to play units with one health like this one. Yeah, maybe he plays the two cost fearsome one, so I can actually cool Q two unit with one spell. He plays this one, the one that I didn't want to see. I can use Pouty Poro to block this, and then use Spirit Unleash to kill both of them. I guess that's the play. Yeah, I guess sure. This gets, uh, if, if I keep this polar to get regenerated half and well, which doesn't really help in this matchup. If he gets life steal, then hey, I probably kept it, kept it alive, but you know, I guess I can just sacrifice it just to kill two units and buff all my units by 1 1, which is always good. If he plays Katarina, that'd be pretty bad though. He plays that one, that's fine. It means he needs to play another unit just so he can uh, buff it, right? So next turn he's probably not gonna open attack, he's gonna play something else, which I can counter raid with Brom. No That's not good. I mean I, I guess I should still play Brom. Katarina is getting a free hit here, but yeah it is what it is. I mean I, in future turns I can frostbite it, right? So that's that. He just attacks with Katarina. Well, he might have flog, he has flogged and my Brom dies. So that's that. But I guess I just gotta go for this, just so I don't take that much damage. Violence solves everything. Yep, he block like this. I guess I can pass. He, he most likely just blocks here. Blade Edge, interesting. Yes, another Blade Edge. Oh, okay, um, sure. Kinda of forgot that he he his deck runs wild beast. I thought it was next pretty nice. I kinda wanna play this though. Hmm. I just attack he blocks with the spider link, which is not nice. If he just attacks with if he just plays Katarina here, I'm taking a lot of damage too because you know gets buffed by Harlow keywords again. Comes a 6-3. He also gets a free blade edge to potentially ping this and then use flock to kill this on future turns, which you know is not good again. I guess I should still do this. Just attack. Yeah, he's not gonna block, he's gonna save his units for a big attack like this one. Okay. I guess I should frostbite Katarina here. Oh wait, I'm so dumb. He just gets the Yeah, hollow keyword. What the hell am I doing? I mean, he does reduce damage. That was probably a dumb play by my part. Because it still gets buffed by the Hollow Keyword, right? He's not gonna attack Katarina? Interesting. He does this. Sure, I guess I can sacrifice my 4 too. I don't really mind. I guess I can play you now. Sure. Give me another portal. Fable portal is pretty nice, but I only have one portal in on on the board, right? I kind of need like a few more portals to to get a wide buff. So hopefully, I draw into some more cheap portals like lonely portal. Healthy portal is pretty nice. Yeah, he gets this. I guess I just block with this guy. Sure. Gets the rally again, which is pretty annoying. I play this. I think I'll play Poros next. I think I'll play double Poros next. Ooh, interesting. He plays this card. He didn't play Katarina. So I guess he's gonna use this onto you. Hmm. I guess I'll take it. Just block this guy. And I'll just use Poros next. Yeah, sure. I'll just use one Poros next. Because I don't want to waste my spare mana, right? So I'll be banking 3 more mana, maybe I can draw Lonely Portal. Ah, uh, double Asmus. It's not that good, it's not that good, it's not that good. Hmm. What keyword would be nice? Life Steel will be extremely, extremely, extremely good. Life Steel. Challenger is good. It threatens Katarina, so he can't play Katarina here. He needs to play Katarina next Where's turn. Yeah, I guess. I mean, that's fine. It's not better than uh, 
Life steal, but it's just a good keyword. It threatens Katarina, right? So you can't play Katarina there. Frostbite is not that good because you can just buff. Okay, that's not good. What units that he get does he get to summon? I mean honestly it's not that bad. Two of them have one health, I can use spear and unleash to deal with two of them. It does get like a lot of attacks in. But I think I should I should be fine. I guess I can use Spear and Unleash here to deal with these two units. Yep. Use Hollowing there, which is pretty interesting. He attacks like this, sure. Oh, this is an interesting play. So he does it like this. He wants to save this unit so he can use the Midnight Raid onto this unit, right? So that's that. I guess I can block like this. Yeah, sure. I can play Asmus here, but one of my units will be dying. We, we, yeah, one of my units will be dying because he's gonna use Midnight Rage, so one of these portals will have to die. But if I force by this guy, he does still use Midnight Rage, but I will be use will be able to use my Icefield Archers as a blocker. I save these two portals. I guess saving these two portals is way better. He still gets to use Midnight Rage, yep, yeah, that's that. But I guess the I get to use my fight tree, right? But if I play Asmus, I uh, not Asmus, the aspect of justice. I am I am needed to block with these things, right? So that's that. So I guess I just do this. Yep. Pass here. This is not lethal, this is 9, 10, 11. Ooh, potentially it could be lethal now. 9, 10, 11. I guess I just play this. Why am I thinking? Yeah, let's play this. Interesting. So he's, so he's, he wants me to attack here to pull Katarina away instead of, hmm. I guess I just do this. I develop. If he open attack, he doesn't get the push for damage because he yeah, plays something. Let's say I use, I pull Katarina away. He blocks, most likely just blocks one of the 4-4. Four four. I'll be dealing. 8 damage, not even close enough. Yeah, just, let's just attack. Just do it like this. I was thinking, not de uh, do I develop even more to try to push for Lethal, but if I do develop, I won't be able to, I still won't be able to go for Lethal, right? So that's that. Just this, I have Polos next. So he needs to do something like another Ball Feast. Or Flock. That could also be a pretty nice play out of Flock. Oh, it beats out another Katarina. That's pretty good. That means the second one and the first Katarina is gone. So he might have a third Katarina in hand, which would be pretty lucky for him. But if he doesn't have it, that's pretty good for me. So I guess I play uh, Aspect of Justice here, definitely. Yep. Pass here. Everything grows here again, which is pretty nice. You're 2 for sure. You could play Howling again, which is pretty annoying. He plays that on it. So I guess I play uh, Asmus first, yeah, let's see, play the weaker one, right, to see what he has. So I guess he doesn't have Hollow Ring, if he has Hollow Ring, he would just develop Hollow Ring, right? Why play that unit to... yeah, so he doesn't have Hollow Ring, he definitely doesn't have it. I can just pass, let him think that this is like a floor spike card, right, could be Tree Sister. Use some attack, definitely. Can he run, does he run Might? If he runs might, the, the 3 mana spell that gives the unit plus 3 attack and overwhelm. Blocking. If he doesn't, then this is always the play. If he does. Hmm. So I guess I block like this. This is 7 damage. Push. I guess I just block like this, yeah. Just in case he runs might, okay. Does. If he runs might, that, that should be the right block because I wouldn't have died if he suddenly like surprise might me. Why is these two cards though? Like Glimpse Beyond or something like that? If he Glimpse Beyond, he would just use it on his Kata Katarina that was already supposed to die, right? So yeah, you Reason Raid, okay. 
sure I can use this one the block now. Yep, I'm cool with that. Oh, so he if he has a second mind, then I'm just done. So, oh, he doesn't. Okay, no, not a mind. But if this last card was a mind, then I was just done. Okay, this guy, this guy. So I need to block everything here, because if I don't block the four damage, he's just blaze my face and he wins. But if he attacks, I can open attack with two units at least. Yeah, I should still be fine. He had three Katarinas in hand, which is kind of funny, I guess. Yeah, GG. Even if he do attack with two units, I just block with two units and I have two more other units for next turn. I can just open attack with him. GG. Three game. That was a close one. Vein Aatrox Quinn. That's that. Finally, some Poros. This is pretty nice, but I don't really have portal snacks or stuff like that. I guess I can keep you and Mulligan these two away and try to find my Spirit Unleash and stuff like that. That'd be great. And that's Spirit Unleash, that's nice. That's Esmus too. Sure. Portal snacks pretty nice. He plays that card. I guess I can play you. To, because I behold a portal, I draw a portal. And now the another powerly portal, sure. I can block. Sure. This goes to one health now, I can actually destroy it with Spirit Unleash. That's pretty nice. That's Braum, that's a pretty good card. I guess I can pass here again. Let's see what he does. He plays way. Yeah. Next turn I'll have... 7 mana, I will have mana for Spirit Unleash. I guess I can play Asmus. Yeah, sure. I can pass. If he gets a good value with the challenger units, the uh, Asmus I don't really mind. Because I just use Asmus for the Chime, so that's that. It hits Braum, that's pretty good. Now Braum is a 2A when I use Spirit Unleash, which is pretty, pretty tanky. Another purchase is Braum. I guess I'll do this. Hopefully he doesn't have like catch to buff this, this one. And he can only, you know, attack with these units. Which is, you know, fine. He's thinking, so he might have it. Okay, he doesn't have it. Good for me. So all my portals are buffed now, which is pretty nice. 2-2, two, two, I can empower it with portal snacks, so that's that. That's pretty annoying. So I guess he always uh, attacks with the scout first, right? So he pulls Asmus here. Yep. Hmm, yep. Yeah, I like this resolve. Then I just play Lonely Portal. So I can block with the Rowing, right? Yeah. Should be fine. Then I can play Brom here and Pauti Pro next turn. Which is fine, right? I can use Brom the Challenge Vein and then go down to 1 health. And I get to summon another, another mighty photo. Wow, this is also a pretty good card. But I won't be able to play it though. I guess I play Pouty Boro first. Let him think that I just have my Polos and if he plays Queen, I can play Braum. He tumbles, interesting. So maybe I should have played Braum first. Oh, it's, it's that one. Sure, I guess. Only 3 damage. It's alright. I can just tank the hit. I guess I just play Braum here. And I just use this to challenge Vayne and do some damage to Brom and summon another mighty photo as a blocker. It's a 5-5 five five, so that's pretty good, right? No, it's just uh, a 4-4. Four four. Yeah, it's just a 4-4. Four four. It's pretty good too, so that's there. I can potentially buff it to a 5-5 five five with photo snacks and uh, the, uh, aspect of justice. There's a lot of possibilities. Equips, interesting. So I guess he's trying to find his Aatrox. This is the second Darken, so he needs to do it one more time so he can... He needs a different one though. So he needs to get another, a different Darken so he can get the Aatrox. There's potentially more Poro snacks, so that's that. He's about to level a vein here, which is a bit scary. Oh, maybe I can find my Force Strike card, that'd be nice. I guess I can tank it with Brom, I don't remind. Brom is a 2 8, pretty healthy. I will release them from their pain. Yep, 
Yeah, because I want to play my aspect of justice this turn, right? So I guess I can just block like this. If he has like another strike spell, then he has it. If no, then hey, it's pretty good. Because I don't have like any of my troll chances at hand or frostbite, so that's that. If he has like a strike spell, like in common and stuff like that, wrong, you die. But it is what it is. I get to play this. I'll probably power the pro and next time I play paper portal. He lets us go through, interesting. I guess I can play one power portal for now. Holding mana for aspect of justice. If he uh, commits to something, like an Aatrox or something like that, I guess I can play aspect of justice. If he doesn't, then I guess I don't. Because, you know, he just get completely destroyed by a single combat, fish by constant strike. He's in Dimas here, he has a lot of strike spells, basically. So he passes, then I pass. I don't mind letting him burn his mana though, that's also pretty nice for me. He does do this though. Interesting. It trades perfectly well with my Binky Poro, so... He might have like... Sharp Sight, Ranger's Resolve, Catch... To buff this vein up. If he does, I can just use Surprise Poro Snack, so that's that. But Sharp's, if the only thing that saves him here is Sharp Sight, because Poro, uh, Poro Snack's only buffed by 1-1. One, one. Yeah, Catch. Oh, he does this. Interesting. He does this. That's pretty bad. I guess I can play Poros next. Yeah, keep my, my Poros alive, right? That's pretty good. I can play this on this turn, and next time I play uh, Paper Poros. And future turns, if I have a mana, I can also play this one, which is also pretty good. I can play you now. For a fly, sure. The bird, oh, that's fine. It's a 1 1, white zone. Why, why the birds of 1 1? A uh, plus 1 1, interesting. Oh, yeah, because he got buffed by Dark and Spirit, right, right. Forgot about that. So I guess I can play Fable Portal here. Give me some, like, elusive life. I mean, quick attack. If he plays Aatrox, I won't be able to attack, though. I wanted some elusive because I can sneakily attack without worrying about Aatrox, right? But if he doesn't play Aatrox here, I could attack. I don't mind attacking. Tumbles, interesting. What's this? The, the Darken Hub? Darken Ages. So that's the third Darken, right? Oh, but he didn't play it. So he doesn't get the value. I guess I can do this. This has regeneration, which is pretty nice. Yep. I just full board attack then. He definitely needs to block here. He's not, not gonna block. Next time I'll be 8 mana. I can play Faber Portal. Or this one. Yeah, GG. He just didn't get his 8 trucks. And you know, Portal just, you know, Portal's just that good. Never, never doubt a portal. Queen Vein is going to be a bit annoying. Hopefully he doesn't have Vein on, on curve. That'd be great. All these are good cards for uh, N2 buff by portals, but the problem is that he's just going to keep attacking and apply pressure to me, which is a bit annoying. I don't think I can even keep you because you might have challenger unit, which is, you know, not good. I guess I keep one of the... Aurora, this one, should be fine. The rest I can mulligan. Um, okay, sure. Well, you're be back, I mean, alright. He might play the 1-2 bird. He plays this one, interesting. So he might be running champion strength if he decides to play this card. That's pretty unleashed, that's pretty good. Go, if he plays another one cost, uh, one health unit, that'd be nice. I think I can pass again because he's gonna, he's gonna play Vayne, right? He's a gamer. He's gonna play Vayne on curve. Oh, at least he... Yep, he plays Vayne on curve. So I just gotta do this. Just do one more extra damage to Vayne, right? A tiny bonus. In turn 4, I guess I should play Brock then. He passed back, definitely, yep. In turn 4, I play Brock. Where are my Poros though? Interesting enough. He might play Combat Code, which is a bit annoying if he gets Scout from Combat Code, so that's that. He just attacks, interesting. I guess I can play Brom now. I don't think he has anything to do with a uh, 7 uh, seven health Brom. He plays Equip or Weapon Masters, interesting. If he gets Scout, that'd be really annoying. Then he gets a Stumble with the Scout, right? So hopefully he doesn't get Scout. Fearsome, Fearsome is also pretty, pretty annoying. Because I can't actually deal with Fearsome. Because my Bromley has one attack, right? Sadly. Yep, I'm taking 4 damage again. Normally you don't take that much damage, but it's alright. Maybe. Another Spirit Unleash. 
I can use this spirit unleash to summon a Poro, and I can actually use the Brom to challenge Vayne here. I guess I go for this play. He could punish me by playing Quinn though, but he won't be able to tumble with that first thing if he plays this one. It's fine, yeah. So here's a mighty portal. I can use this to block the the fearsome unit now, which is nice. I can use Brom the challenger to challenge Vayne now, so that's pretty nice. And oh yeah, GG. <laughs> um, sure. I guess he didn't have anything to do with my Brom there. So I mean, GG. I guess.